Thank you, Achel. Um, hi, everyone. آخر مرة كنت هنا كنت واقفة على الستيج ده بين 10 سنين كنت بستلم الماجستير بتاعي في كمبيوتر ساينس من الجامعة الأمريكية وما كنتش عارفة ساعتها بس كنت هب... دي كانت بداية a journey of learning and discovery and passion بجد about human emotions حاجة شفناها النهاردة في كل التوكس so far and in every one of you there's a lot of emotions emotions are very important they give color to every aspect of our life our health, our well-being um, our past experiences, how we're seeing the world right now, and how we think and how we think and see our future. Um, the emotion state بتاعكو دلوقتي هي عنده influence كبير قوي على ال اللي هتفتكروه النهاردة في آخر اليوم واللي هتطلعوا بي من النهاردة كمان ثلاث شهور وكمان سنة and so on. So emotions are very important. Emotions كمان really influence what decisions we make how we make them, how and what we learn. Learning is huge, it's very important, it's really key to our lives. And how we connect and communicate with each other, صح? طول الوقت احنا عمالين نبعت the emotional signals, the facial expressions, tone of voice, gestures, postures. Um, بنبعتها لبعض من غير ما نبقى حاسين, صح? Um, فالresearch بتاعي is really about how to understand the emotional bits دي أو the emotional bites دي. Um, نرجع تاني لعشر سنين كنت لسه مخلصة الماجستير بتاعي كان بقالي ست سنين بدرس computer science operating systems و compilers و I spend on average عشر ساعات per day in front of my computer computers know nothing about emotions it struck me you know, even though I'm spending this much time in front of my machine المشين ما عندهاش أي clue whether I'm stressed ولا لأ زعلانة ولا مبسوطة فحسيت إنه this is weird صح فابتديت imagine if the computer could actually sense my emotions my stress and even maybe do something about it to improve the quality of my life. If I wrote this up in a research proposal, a PhD program, I got accepted for Cambridge University for Computer Science Department, HINEC, to start full-time, September 26, 2001. Really cool, very exciting. The actually. First thing is that I was a year old. I was a technical المشكلة الثانية إنه كان في سبتمبر the 11th 2001. فbetween those two things, anyone I would run to, بجد anyone would tell me one of two things. أنتي مجنونة أنتي هتسيبي جوزك وتسافري ما ينفعش كده خالص. وال جوزي is is based in Cairo. He has his software company هنا. أو يقولوا لي أنتي مجنونة الحرب هتقوم وأنتي محجبة هيقتلوك أو يخطفوك أو كده. ف everyone that is except my husband, to his credit, هو قالي if you don't do this now, you'll never do it again. Just go. ف... with a lot of anxiety, بجد it was in a comfort zone بتاعة وائل كانت <تصفيق> really freezing cold with a lot of anxiety I packed my bags and I head to Cambridge where I live for the next four years أول ما وصلت Cambridge I gave a presentation to my colleagues بشرح لهم يعني المشكلة إن أنا زي إيه المشكلة إن أنا أخلي الكمبيوتر يفهم الإيموشنز بتاعة الناس أنا كنت مركزة في جزء معين اللي هو الفيشل إكسبرشنز كنت عايزة الكمبيوتر بتاعي يقعد قدامه كده يشوف أنا مبسوطة ولا زعلانة بعيط ولا لأ and so on فحد في الاودينس كده رفع ايده وقال لي على فكره اللي انت بتقوليه ده شبه اخويا اخويا عنده توحد او اوتيزم انا ما كنتش اعرف يعني ايه توحد ف اي واز انتريج اي ستارتد سيرشينج اند ليرنينج مور اباوت اوتيزم ام و ذا مور اي ليرنت ذا مور بجد اي اي واز فاسينيتد اتعلمت ان اوتيزم بي 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 يعني a child is diagnosed with autism every 20 minutes Uh, autism that is a spectrum of disorders. شوية ناس بيبقى عندهم مش مشاكل كتيرة وشوية ناس بيبقوا very severely um, affected. في three core areas. Uh, أول واحدة إنه مش بيقدروا يinteractوا مع social world in a normal way. تاني حاجة مش بيقدروا use language um, to communicate برضو effectively. وتالت حاجة they have these stereotypic or repetitive behaviors. بيعملوا حركات كده أو يبقوا مثلا rocking back and forth. والروت بتاع البروبلمز دي ان هما they see the world differently السنسز بتاعتهم wired up للبرين بتاعهم differently الريزالت انه الدنيا دي is overloading كل السنسيز اللي جاية دي it's just so overloading they can't take it in at the same time interact in a regular way I was intrigued وابتديت اخد من الثيريز بتاعت الاوتزم دي عشان ابني الكمبيوتر algorithms بتاعتي a year into my PhD كنت بجد بقى very deep into my PhD I learned that I was pregnant وحسيت ان هو اوكي 
this is my PhD, yani dream basically is at risk. You know? And again, I remember very clearly, I walked into my supervisor's room while I was in tears, while I was like, I have this, I don't know if it's good or bad news, but I've got this piece of news, I'm pregnant. But Ali, so what? That's okay, that's really cool, congratulations. <laughs> um, again, Bordo, to my husband's credit, he said, just keep going, but that's what I did. Actually, what happened is, you know, because I felt, you know, this dream of mine is at risk, um, I became even more obsessed and even more, like, really driven to finish this and completed and, and competed in had the record time. So fast forward um, two or three years, four years in total, I had a system that was able to recognize pe people's facial expressions. Um, I will not say you know, it's emotionally intelligent because humans are way more intelligent, emotionally intelligent specifically, than any machine can be today. But it was a step forward. I saw a real cool system there. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm for the group. Oh. That's the logo, actually. What the hell? What's happening here? And you just turn on your webcam, and Khaled, hopefully, it will it will see you. Oh. Kind of. <laughs> um. Khaled Aad on the whole computer immediately saw his um, features of his face, eyebrows, mouth, and nose. But then it starts by watching Khaled very closely how he moves his face. Okay? Okay, the first one is a neutral face. Neutral face? A neutral face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, there you go. Type. It starts recognizes, recognizing Haggad a head gesture. If, if Khaled Masala nods his head, nod your head, yeah, Khaled. No, okay. Halay in the bar the foot that turns green. If Khaled starts shaking his head, the, the second bar will should turn green. Yeah. Um, if he smiles. Um, okay. <laughs> Um, it recognizes the set of head gestures or facial expressions. And then it takes all the information that it says, okay, if Khaled Shaklu is smiling, and he has a nod, and in general, Shaklu is in agreement, it maps this to a state of our emotional state of Khaled. The assumption here is that Khaled has some emotional state and he's showing it through some facial expressions, or some outward signals. We're going to try to understand the signals and map it back to the internal emotional state. So at the moment, it's mostly concentrating. And at the moment, you have an eyebrow raise, right? And a little bit of interest. I actually have this software, and you can try it any time in the break. Actually, I'm very interested. OK. Thank you, Akhil. Thank you. So then the question becomes, I did this to so improve the computer, right? I was in the CSIS defense, and one of the committee members was Professor Rosalind Picard. She is a professor at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Um, an anecdote, she wrote the book called Affective Computing in 1998. I was writing it, and I was writing it from Amazon. في الآخر المهم قريت الكتاب ده and this is why I got into this field. ف for her to be on my thesis committee was completely like inspiring for me. She sits in the committee where we discover that we both share this passion for helping people. فحسنا okay helping machines is cool but we really want to take it one step further and help people. فأيش طيب why not join my group at MIT as a postdoc? which was a dream come true for me. MIT is one of the top institutions in the world. But I made a quick calculation in my mind, and I said, oh, I'm four years old with my and my family. So I said, oh, Raz, in our country, a man can be four years old. And I said, oh, I'm four years old. I have to go back to Mosul, basically. So I said, okay, cool, why not commute from Cairo? And I became the longest commuter at MIT. I don't know if it's like, how does it compare to the rest of the world? It's a pretty long commute. I commute to Boston on average once a month. Um, I now have a one-year-old. Um, 
once a month. He has a lot of air miles. Um, MIT, so this is 2006, I joined MIT. The Media Lab is this amazing place. We got people from all sorts of backgrounds come together. Psychology, computer science, engineering, designers, artists, philosophers. in this one building because we all care about one and only one thing. We want to improve people's lives. We want to empower people, uh, disabled people, disenfranchised, people in developing countries. We want to develop these tools through technology that will change people's lives. Our group specifically is focused on disabilities, specifically bardu, mentally, mental, develop, mental or developmental disorders, like autism. We started to make new technologies, like we are using now, which is supposed to ease how stressed I am. I downloaded data, I will, marawahwa, I will post it somewhere for you to see. I, I think I'm pretty revved up now. Um, <laughs> um, well, we use it with a lot of kids. A lot of these kids are not able to talk. عندهم مشاكل communication فلما بنحط عليهم السنسور ده it provides a new channel for people to access their information um, I, you've probably felt this at one point or another in your life if you're unable to connect with people it's very frustrating it's actually a very lonely and scary feeling so we try to help the kids and their parents and people around them to get this extra bit of information حاجة حصلت midway my tenure at MIT um, and Henny touched on this this morning. Our approach is very different. We use a co-design approach. design technologies disabled, but design but in the disabled people. We take a different approach. We involve them in the design of this technology. So we reach out. Any person who has a problem, we talk to them. One of the people is named Eddie. She's autistic. She's not able to talk. الطريقة الوحيدة أو وسيلتها الوحيدة أنها تتكلم مع الناس is through a laptop بالتايب واللابتوب ده بيتكلم on her behalf um, she's often in a weird chair لأن مش بتقدر تنافيجيت الدنيا لوحديها um, however she has a blog it's a very popular blog and she does those amazing videos on YouTube that get like half a million hits I checked in better one specific video in my language has 900,000 hits on YouTube but she's autistic just to find out like how come it doesn't match our theories. The uh, theories that we a lot of these autistic kids are mentally retarded, low functioning, creative. To the contrary, um, the piece of technology is very articulate, very creative, very funny, very caring. She's disconnected from the world. So it struck me, it struck me at the A, awalan in and then a misconceptions kitira about autism will probably have a tanya ktir. Every single fra'i, every single human being is a communicator. We all want to communicate our ideas and share them and feel that we connect and are valuable members of our community, um, including autistic people. Amanda or Ritni da. Um Tani Haga, you know, technology can help with that. It can help change a situation probably and it can improve people's lives. Tell it that hit me when I met Amanda. Is you know sometimes we get stuck at the stereotypes level. Um I have stereotypes in Arabic. We get stuck at it. If you meet if you meet Amanda Fishera, you'll you probably say in here mutahalifaqly. If you meet me in the street, I want to get out of my life. You'll probably also think that I'm not going to get out I want to challenge that. I really think you know, we should go beyond the stereotypes. Um, and, and yeah. Um, the last thing, the last thoughts. Um, about a year ago, I started to realize, again, this is back to Henny's ideas, I started to realize in you know, the same technologies that we're using to improve people's lives has a huge business potential. Um, this is cool because you can start a business that has a dual profit, our dual bottom line. Profit is one, it's important. At the same time, improving people's lives and changing people's lives. So, um, so we started this company um, about a year ago called Affectiva. We're commercializing our technologies and my dream, my dream, um, is um, to make this come true. I want to see technologies be affordable and accessible. Um, and they want to do that um, whether they're in the US, 
Egypt, Al, uh, Al Bangladesh, basically. I want to improve people's lives. And I think there's a lot to learn and a lot of help. Fa, um, this is an invitation. Thank you. أعتقد مش أنا لوحدي اللي حابب أسأل رانا كم سؤال بسرعة كويك كيو إن إي لو أي حد عنده سؤال ممكن يرفع إيده لرانا بس أنا هبتدي بسؤال فكروا في أسئلة رانا ستاندينج أوفيشن أول أول اللي يمكن سبيكر النهاردة يبقى عنده يمكن ده لو عندك سنسور بيقيس الموشن بتاع الجمهور أكيد هيجيب آخره دلوقتي النهاردة فعملنا ريكورد النهاردة أنا عايز أرجع تاني لل إزاي التكنولوجي دهيت تساعد حد عنده أوتيزم لو نرجع مثلا لأقرب حد ليكي عنده أوتيزم يور يور براذر أكشلي ما فيش حد إن ماي فاميلي عنده أوتيزم بس بس بيكوز بيكوز ذا بريفالنس إز فيري هاي أي أكشلي نو أ لوت أوف بيبل هو هاف أوتيزم الأبلكيشن المعينة دي أو دي بنحاول إن إحنا نحطها إن موبايل كمبيوتر بكاميرا والشخص ده وهو ماشي الكمبيوتر بيقول له على فكره خالد دلوقتي شكله كونفيوز ستوب اند اسك ا كويستشن الريل تايم فيدباك ده ما كانش افيلبل قبل كده فذس از ذا فيرست تايم وي كان جيف ذس ريل تايم فيدباك او جاست ان تايم فيدباك حد عارف ذا توب 10 بيست تيد نمره واحد يمكن كانت جيل بولت على الـ على الويب سايت اباوت اباوت The left and right lobes of the brain. With they here, because of accident, the left hemorrhage, the left part of her brain, which is the part of the I am, able to experience nirvana. And then I think later can be explanation the exact the moment it happened to her. On the other side, on the other side, it was I think the VS Ranjan Duran, I think is Indian doctor. Yes. And on the other side, the accident that happens, the parts of the brain that get affected, we know the problem. And one of it was autism, when the part that is discovered in the face. Facial recognition, the mood, feel emotion recognition, the link that is there. But what you're doing is basically, I don't know if I'm to just to make sure, and the link that you're trying to get back to, because because this is the link that's severed in the brain. Exactly. This this makes a lot of sense. Any questions? Please. Actually, I have a question. Yeah. Because it's something that I've been thinking about for a long time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
في اللكشر بتاعت جيل بولت قالت انه في الجزء اللي الليفت برين وقف خالص انه يشتغل معاها الرايت برين لما كان شغال شي كومبليتلي لوست اني سنس اوف هير بينج از هير سيلف وين شي بيكيم بارت اوف ايفري ثينج اند اند بيزيكلي شي اندرستود ايفري ثينج بات ذن كانت بتبص على ايديها كنت حاسه ان ايديها ديت حاجه غريبه جدا عنها وان العالم كله مليان سنسوري سنسوري اوفرلود بعد بعد ما ابتدى يرجع تاني ف ف somewhere there احنا اكشلي وات از هابننج انه ا لوت اوف ذا ليفت برين في كونستراكت كده بتابستراكت الدنيا يعني مثلا دلوقتي انا شايفه ناس مش شايفه بقى واحد 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 اللو ليفل اناليسيس اللي عندنا ده بيحصل ات سب كونشس ستيت ان ذا ماجورتي اوف بيبل ان ا فيو بيبل لا ذير اوير ذير اوير انه في واحد اثنين ثلاثه اربعه خمسه ان ات تيكس ا وايل تو بروسس اول ذس انفورميشن And right now, I see you like the audience. It's just one abstract concept. Uh, if I were to see you all, واحد واحد وكل واحد the facial expressions بتاعته, I probably would be unable to give this talk. So, اسمحوا لي أسأل آخر سؤال. How can we help? إزاي ممكن نساعدك؟ أو إزاي حد ممكن يساعد project زي ده؟ أحلى حاجة is إن إحنا we've been doing this already. Uh, we've been doing some of the research for us, and some of the research for America. It's we're lucky, you know. Um, it, you don't have to be anywhere. You just need a computer. And you're all set. بجد لو في ناس interested في أي parts من التكنولوجيا أو حتى they have connections to autistic schools أو they want to try out the technology, they have an idea for an experiment, contact me. In make it your happen. website or e- email? Um, email. Um, email. Shall I say it? Uh, Rana Al-Yubi, they can Google oh, it. Google it. Google it. Exactly. All right. Thank Rana you. Rana Al-Yubi. Thank you. Thank you.